Hi there, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at uh, Hang On The Back Filter from Eheim. And this one is the Liberty 75. Now it'll pump between 150 to 380 litres per hour. And for you guys in the US, that's what it is for you. Apparently it has 240 cubic centimetres of surface area as filtration in here. And you'll see in a minute why that is just absolute nonsense. It's only 2.5 watts and it is without a doubt the ugliest filter I have ever seen in my life. That's it there. And that is what Eheim believe a modern filter should look like. I mean that would not be out of place in 1950s Czechoslovakia. Right so the water goes in you can adjust how much water is drawn in and therefore how much water will come out. It goes down to the pump. You're probably not going to be able to see in there, but it swirls around in the bottom of here and then it goes through these two cartridges and back out to the pond. Uh, not to the pond, to the aquarium, sorry. That is what Eheim think is suitable for a 75 litre tank. A tiny little piece of coarse foam and a little bit of like a felt sort of material which has been impregnated with carbon which you have to replace ideally once every four to eight weeks which soon gets expensive but that's not the worst of it because the water goes from the pump section that way and then back out to the tank. This cartridge with the carbon obviously wants to be last in the system but only fits in first. So all the muck that you're sucking up from the tank that gets through here goes into there, clogs it up and then this coarse pad does practically nothing other than support a bit of bacteria. And obviously you're changing this one out regularly so in in essence that which you can see right through is your filtration on a 75 litre tank if you follow Eheim's recommendations. However all is not lost because they do have a second option for this sort of setup which I'll show you now and it comes in the form of that cartridge which is a reasonably large block of coarse foam. So naturally I'm thinking okay that will fit in the pump section somewhere and catch whatever muck gets through here and act as you know a bit of biological filtration as well before the water gets to this carbon pad. No it won't. This is meant to be used instead of those two where is it in there so you've got this huge filter and that and you get more foam in a 9 or 10 pound uh, that is pound as in like the currency pound not the weight pound it's basically a cheap internal filter which you can pick up for next to nothing And I'll post a link to Amazon where you can see how much they're charging for that. I'm not going to tell you how much it is. If you're interested, check it out. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's going to sound harsh, but Eheim are just laughing at the people who support them with this or the likes of this. It's awful absolutely awful. However as far as an upgrade goes let's see what we can do. We might as well make the most of a bad situation and if any of you guys out there have got one of these here's my take on what you could do to make it a, 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 yeah not a bit more efficient considerably more efficient. Okay so fitting a big block of foam on there 
takes care of all of our mechanical filtration. Just take that off, squeeze it out under a tap or in the sink, whatever. You're not going to worry too much about losing bacteria if you do rinse it under the tap because in here we're just going to fill that with filter media. 250 gram bags of bio gravel. Oh, you're in there. You're in there. Get in. Right. That's one right in the bottom. Yeah, that's a pretty good fit. And that's two, so that's actually 500 grams or thereabouts of bio gravel in there, which has increased the weight considerably. Of course, you can put loose media in there, but if you ever want to clean it out, you've got to tip the thing upside down and then clean it out. Whereas with this, you just take that out, give it a rinse in a bucket of water that you've drained from the tank and stick it straight back in again. That, to me, is the easiest way to increase the efficiency of this particular filter. It doesn't look pretty, but it never did to start with. It certainly can't make it look any more ugly. So just as a reminder, I'll show you what we were working with and what we're now working with in the way of filtration. So before, we had this tiny, thin coarse pad. This replaceable, very fine carbon felt pad which would need replacing regularly and a little bit of sponge that went on the intake not much there for 75 litres after the upgrade we've got our mechanical filtration probably doesn't need to be that big but that's just the size of foam that I had poked a hole in on the bottom then we've got 500 grams or thereabouts of bio gravel that is a hell of a lot more filtration compared to that. Massive difference. So there you go, it hasn't transformed this 1950s block of flats in a communist hellhole into some glass fronted condo overlooking the beach. But what it has done is made it much more efficient. I would imagine that the Eheim fanboys will be out in force again, bashing me in the comments. But this is a bloody awful looking filter. It's horrible. Absolutely awful. I, I don't know what they were thinking, you know. When you, you've got things now that blend in with the tank, they have nice rounded edges, they have all sorts of useful features. This has got none of that. You know, it's just, it's, I don't know. I honestly don't know what's happened to Eheim. Going from hero to zero. Okay, as far as tank size measurements go, um, because we've got 500 grams of media in here, I would say, uh, you know, normally stocked fish tank of around about 50 litres, possibly up to as many as 75 if you want a full cycle, depends how it's set up, how it's stocked and how it's planted. Um, obviously you wouldn't be using something like this on a heavily stocked tank, although maybe you would, you might use it on a breeding tank, I suppose. So if it was a breeding tank, maybe 25, 30 litres or thereabouts. Uh, and for you guys in the US, obviously, uh, the conversions are down there. If you can get one of these secondhand or pick one up very, very cheap, go for it. As long as you don't mind actually looking at it. It's not like an ugly canister filter that sits underneath the tank that nobody sees. That's on full display. It's just, well, I don't know, it's almost like a, a bin or a Dalek or... I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, dear God. Right, thanks again to Sylvie for sending me that. If anybody out there is actually using one of these, please put how you found it and what you've done to improve it, because you must have done something to improve it in the comment section. It's what that comment section's there for. Uh, yeah, and thanks again for watching. And